Hi there, I'm Leandra from Paper Artsy. Back to how to use different effects with the um, texture paste. This time what we're going to do is use treasure gold on top and it creates really amazing metallic looking tags. So what you want to do is start by base coating your tag with some really dark colours. On this one I've used chocolate pudding, blood orange and uh, French roast. So I've sort of got different layers of warm dark shades coming through here. You can use black, squid ink, any of those sorts of colours. It, it, it all um, just gives it a nice base on which to start. And you can apply your treasure gold directly to the tag without any paint underneath. But the paint seals the whole surface. It also gives a nice chalky finish so that it gives something for the treasure gold to really grab onto. And because you've sealed the surface, you actually end up using a lot less of your treasure gold product. The other advantage is that you get a slight sort of little shadow in and around your texture paste, which creates a sort of a bit more of a vintage feel to it. So that's why I'm starting with a base coat of paint. So take um, a fluffy sort of a brush and just start by dipping into your treasure golds. I tend to go round and round in a circular motion. This one is Florentine and then you just start on the edge of your tag and tickle the product onto the tag. So if you start with a little bit you can determine how much of that um, background, painted background, you want to come through, whether you want a lot or a little. Now I don't change um, different brushes between colours, I go from one brush to the next. So I don't really worry too much about it. I just make a start and then once the product starts to run out, I'll switch to a different colour. This one's olive bronze. It's quite a greeny gold, um, a sort of a muddy gold, but it is, it's really, um, it's nice. If you don't like really bright coloured golds, then that's a really nice vintage type gold colour. I use it quite a lot. Uh, this one here is um, brass, which is quite shiny. It's your, exactly what you imagine brass to look like. And you can use your brighter colours like brass to, to knock back other colours or you can use them underneath uh, and mix two together and you'll create unique shades. So that with a little bit of the Florentine on top looks quite pretty. Now something completely different, this one's aquamarine. Aquamarine is quite a bluey, steely, bluey, greeny colour. It's one of my favourites very popular colour. And you see it just blends over the top really nicely and you're getting that shadowing from the paint that we started with underneath the painted background. Copper, again it's another colour that works just with everything. Okay, that's a beautiful colour. And copper with the aquamarine is always a nice combination. And you see you can be heavy handed or light handed, it really doesn't matter. Oh, I have got one here I haven't used. This one's white fire. Actually, <laughs> doesn't look anything like what it normally looks like because I've still got quite a bit of copper on the brush. But white fire mixed with copper gives you that nice sort of warm tone. Okay, so once you have got a layer, then you can start dipping in and out of your colours to build um, contrast on top and start to blend the colours together. So I use Florentine and Spanish Topaz a lot to just add warmth. And let's get a bit more of that olive bronze going on. You can see the green tones in that, it's nice. Okay. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I want to polish it off. And the way to do that is to actually dry it properly first. Now it is dry to the touch. So it's not going to be 
you can you can touch it and it doesn't rub off. Treasure Gold is permanent on all surfaces because this is a solvent based product it is not a water based product so because of the um, the solvents in there they evaporate off and the um, metal powders stay permanently bonded to the surface underneath they are there are ground up metal powders in this product so when you buff it up you're actually polishing metal now I'm going to dry it off thoroughly and then I can buff it up with a paper towel so just use a heat gun or if you leave it on its own it probably takes half an hour to thoroughly for the solvent to thoroughly evaporate off but you can see just by actually heating it often it does start to get a little bit shinier anyway just by it being dried really thoroughly and then I'm just going to take a clean paper towel and just buff that so now it's just like polishing metal it's fantastic and I love the shadowing that you get around where the paint was to begin with if you want to stamp onto areas like this, it's quite easy, but use Versafine or Archival. Um, Versafine seems to give a really nice black if, um, image onto this metal. So you can add your ink, whether it's script or what have you. But it's a really fun technique. So I hope you enjoy playing about with that yourselves.